This was supposed to be a fairly simple, straightforward video on the free and open source application called Hoarder. This one right here. I've been playing around with it for about a week or so and just kind of experimenting with it, using it as a really nice bookmark and kind of information dumping ground. I didn't really have it set up right. I kind of wiped my instance, reinstalled it as part of this video, but I noticed something. You can see we have the Chrome plugin and the Firefox plugin. If I go ahead and click on Firefox, oops, we cannot find that for you. So I decided to look into that, just search Firefox on their issue page. And we have this right here, Firefox extension invalid. And it turns out that it was taken down due to a DMCA request or a trademark dispute here. The author of this application was, which is a phenomenal tool, posted this on Reddit saying, Hoarder, the name is being stolen from me. Rather quite unfortunate as this could have been a post about reaching 10K stars on GitHub again. It's a really good tool. Instead of that, they received a cease and desist from someone holding the Hoarder trademark, claiming that Hoarder, which Hoarder is a fairly generic name, infringes on their trademark, claiming that they have a nearly identical name and having similar, if not identical, functionality. To the Hoarder people's credit, they do seem to have a trademark from January 2023, while the oldest uh, post or the oldest release from Hoarder seems to be from February of 2024, just under a year ago. And the website is hoarder.app. Let's actually check it out real quick. Let's give that a copy. Hoarder.app. All right. Uh, this button doesn't work. Hoarder. Um, let's see what it looks like on the Play Store here. Oh, <laughs> let's go full screen. I need to talk to you. If you are a new software company and one of your very first actions before you even have more than 20 downloads on an app store, if your first move is to send a cease and desist to a free and open source project because of some similarities in the naming, you are not off to a good start. You, dare I say, are going to get cooked. I'm not going to download this thing, but the screenshots do look a little similar. You have comments, notes. It's probably a pretty good application, but coming after an application with such a generic name, I mean, you got, admittedly, Hoarder, that's creative. Good job on that. But I do believe that there's enough differences between this and Hoarder that a cease and desist and a claim of copyright or D DCMA, whatever, infringement doesn't seem valid to me. Granted, granted, I'm not a lawyer. I have no legal training whatsoever, especially when it comes to copyright and things like that. Hell, I came up with my channel's name when I was 11 years old looking at a Pizza Hut box. That goes to show you how creative I am at coming up with names like this. The author application states here that they do seem legitimate, as we kind of saw, and they're not straight out or straight up trademark trolls, which is a whole nother business that is diabolically scummy. Basically goes, he poured so much time and energy, this is incredibly inconvenient, and he doesn't just doesn't want to deal with this. This is a side project, doesn't want to go through the legal troubles of just fighting this, which I... Uh, it is really, truly, and painfully unfortunate especially with the last edit here being that the Firefox extension was taken down with that DMCA request. Now, let's see if, is it alive on Chrome? Can you get a Chrome app for it? Chrome plugin. Hey, it's still there. I really think they just want this domain right here. That's probably what they're after. He's supposed to respond by the 24th of January or they're going to supposedly sue. So this is definitely going to be something I'm watching. Um, the easy way for the developer to get out of this is to change the name, but that's horrible. I wish he doesn't or hope he doesn't have to do that. And at a bare minimum, do not give them your domain name. That is, uh, -uh. but let's, let's go ahead and ignore all this drama because it is a absolutely wonderful application. It's really easy to go ahead and spin up. If I go back to my desktop here, this is my protainer page. You can add AI. So you can add a open AI key right here. The compose stack is pretty simple, has web, chrome, search, and then the volumes. Really just copy, paste, fire it up, and you're good to go. I threw mine behind a uh, Nginx reverse proxy, you can kind of see there. And it's pretty simple, all you do is write your note. So let's say, for example, I wanted this compose file to be a note, so I would just drop that in there. Boom, and now I have that compose. If I go right here, I can edit it, and then switch over to like raw markdown, for example, and then actually 
have this formatted properly. So boom, boom, boom. This is a YAML. Boom, boom, boom. And then I could do order Docker compose and then add it like a link here. So if I grab that, dropped it in, let's save that. So now if we disable this, well, we'll yeah, look at that. Looks pretty, oh shit. There we go, check that out. We have the code right there. And then if I hit save, boop. So then you can see there I have my note. I can easily just jump back into it. And then from there I can add various tags. So this, I can give it the Docker tag and the home lab tag. From there, I could add notes about my notes. I could favorite certain notes, archive it and delete them. This right here is the actual title of the note. So this is my order compose, boom. So now if I go out of there, there we are. And that's just one example. If I go ahead and drop in, for example, the hoarder documentation, just right on into a note. So just paste the link, hit enter. It will save as the link. So then I can just click on this and go right to where I need to. Uh, I can have lists and you can kind of see it load up right there. So if I wanted to add a new list, I could call this Docker. Let's choose an icon is a whale available. Ooh, that looks really close to it. So let's add that. And then we could create this, go home. And I believe I can manage lists, put this in the Docker list, add it, and then do the same thing over here. So manage lists, drop that into Docker and add it. There you go. So now if I head over to Docker, you could see I have uh, some hoarder stuff there and I can just add things and fill it up as I see fit. If I found something else such as a uh, Ubuntu Docker, and I just wanted to throw in this link from Docker Hub, I could go over here, drop it in, hit enter, and then there we go. If I click it, it'll take me back to that Docker Hub and eventually this little preview thing will load up and it's, it's gonna look beautiful. And let's say I had a whole bunch of these. I have hundreds of notes, hundreds of, hundreds of things in here, but I wanted to make this Ubuntu one my favorite. I would just favorite that. And then if I go over to my favorites list, you can see that there as well as appearing um, over here on the Docker list. Boop. So what I'm going to do is try it over here. Old faithful. There we go. Of course we want to add the extension. So let's, oh, 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 let's log in here. So now, for example, if we are on the wonderful website, techhut.tv, and I wanted to save this guide, the best way to monitor your home server, all I would do is click right there. Boom, it says it's hoarded. And then I think I can add it real quick. Let's say a home lab. And then you could throw it in a list if you'd like to. This is technically Docker, so I could throw it in there. And now if I go over to my hoarder instance, you can see it right there with the tag home lab. And of course we could search. There are the AI features. If we go back over here, I don't really feel like setting it up right now, but AI based automatic tagging with support for local models. So that is very nice. Extracting text from images, lots of fun stuff. I will link to this down below. Uh, drama aside, it is a super cool tool that I would definitely recommend you go ahead and check out. Um, support the developer if you can. So yeah. With all that, have a beautiful day and goodbye.